Hello, so it's a very blustery day outside our studio today, so I've decided I'm going to get a bit tropical. So today's video is a step-by-step -step to show you how to make these two fantastic loved up flamingos. Okay, we're ready to do the finishing touches to this piece. We've done our flamingos, we've done our uh, palm trees and our island. So we need a bit of water now, because um, at the moment they're just paddling in thin air. And you never want flamingos to be paddling in thin air. <laughs> um, I have my Powder Pro that we used earlier on, um, and I've charged this with uh, a little bit of uh, sky blue. I love sky blue. It's an absolutely beautiful colour. It's a transparent colour. Um, so I like using it for water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my mask on while I do this. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. I don't know why I hum when I do that, but I always do. There we are. So we are ready to um, add a little bit of um, waves really. I don't, I don't want to um, cover the background, that's why I'm using a powder pro. I just want it to look like the light's picking up the colour on the waves and I'm using this because I want to go in between the legs for, for some of it. Um, so we'll just start at the bottom and work our way across. You don't have to be particularly steady for this either. Um, so I will actually go right the way over this. Doesn't matter that I'm going over the coral beach. I've put the thick, um, thick uh, hole or the the large hold um, cartridge on here, and I'm going over the the legs a bit because maybe they're standing in the shallows. So it's just another way of of doing doing the water. I we'll go all up to the horizon. This now sounds like a wasp with a faulty engine. <laughs> but it's going to be very, very subtle. But because I'm using this, I can go in between the legs. So I'm going to go up to um, just about where the body is. And I haven't bothered putting a sky. Just in between there for a little bit. I'm just going to wipe that off the top of there. Maybe a few bits over the top of here. There we go. So I'm happy enough with that. Let's just empty this cartridge. I'm quite methodical when I'm working here because otherwise if um, you know I'm doing my piece and then I come to the end and I've got cartridges all over the place with powder in, I never know what colours in them. So get into a process of being quite methodical. You might remember me saying that this is um, a mixture of blues. So if you haven't got a powder pro, you can do it this way. Um, this is a mixture of blues that I sort of recover if people have been on a course and forgotten to perhaps empty, you know, the stuff back into the pots. What I don't want to do is put this in one pot if it's a, a complete mixture. So all I'm doing again is exactly what I've done before, making sure that I haven't got too much on here. And I am just tapping little bits. So we've got a mixture of blues to give us a sort of rippled surface. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Oh, it's got steamed up glasses. <laughs> there we go. I'm happy with that, but um, I'm looking at the flamingos and I just, I think I want a little bit more texture um, now that I've finished the piece on um, the body just beyond where the tail feathers are. So this is a little bit of crushed up um, 
confetti glass. All I did was put it in here, crushed it up. Gives you some really, really fine uh, pieces on here. Now, um, if you like the kind of um, artwork where you see it looks like it's been splashed with stuff, you could actually sp splash this on here from a, a, a height and it looks like a, a watercolour splash on there. I'm actually, I'm not going to do that, I'm quite okay, but what I am going to do is put little bits of it down here so that it looks like some of it is reflecting off the bodies of the flamingos. I'm also going to add some pink striker but fine pink striker. So we used powder before. This pink striker um, fine frit is just going to give us that extra bit of texture that's on there. And I'm going to put some of this down here because again you would have a reflection in the water and I just want that to be in there. All right, I think I will use a little bit of fuchsia over here just to bring that colour into here. Maybe there's some buds, maybe there's some small plants that are uh, similar colour, but it just ties those two colours together. Some of these pieces are a bit big so I'm going to just pop them over here but I think I'm probably happy with what I've got. Oh there's a little bit there, don't want that there so let's just tidy those bits up. So have a little look round your piece, make sure that there's no stray bits anywhere and that you're happy with it. I think I'm, I'm happy with that and um, so I am ready to fire that and so I'm going to tack fuse that and uh, once it's tack fused we're then going to slump it on that curve mould that I showed you right at the beginning and we should have a lovely tropical flamingo scene. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I love doing these kind of things so um, I hope you enjoyed it too. Well there you have it, our flamingos are beautifully cooked, pink in the middle, just how we like them and uh, slumped to perfection. So very happy with that piece. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. Tell us how you get on deciding um, what you want to do with your piece. You could obviously add one bigger flamingo. You could add more flamingos, but we like to hear how you've got on. Uh, so comment, like, share. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And please hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of our future videos because there's lots more to come. So I'm um, glad you've uh, watched that. Thank you and uh, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.